Hello everyone, in this video I would like to show the WPML installation and where to find the key of WPML and once you have purchased your license or if you have the WPML agency or the CMS or you want to install the plugin in some other websites you can easily go here to the main account area and here in the register WPML on your sites you can add a new website. Here you can add the URL. You can continue. You can select if it's a development site or a production site. And if you already have some credits from other accounts that you are already using, you can assign and you can just continue and you will have the key for using it for the WPML. So I will go here to the WordPress website and I will add the download file. I will activate the installer. And here they will ask for the key of WPML. So I will go to the page, copy WPML key, and I will register the key of WPML. And now I can proceed to download and activate WPML. And now this is the process of the WPML setup. Here I can add the default language if in case that it's not English, I can search for the respective language. I can select the languages that I'm going to translate to. And in case that I want to translate for more than one language, I can add the different ones. I will just continue. Here I can select the type of URL format. The most recommended is the is the subfolder structure, which keeps all the link use that it's built by the other languages, posts or pages to the main root domain. So this is the one that it's really recommended. The parameter is actually not, not the best one. And if you're using a different domain, you can also do it or subdomain. But as I said, unless that you have the big budget or big team, that probably could be the go for strategy. But in case that you're just starting by yourself, your small business, or you're just slowly growing your online business, then the subfolder is the recommended one. It will ask or show here that register WPML. Here now they will ask if you're going to translate that WordPress website instantly, automatically, or if you want to have more control, you can choose that translate some. And here you will have to select if you're translating by yourself or you have a team and so on. And in case that you want to receive some information, we'll just continue. If there are some more components that you will also would like to add, you can add it from here. And continue. And finish. And that's how we set up and we how we find that WPML key to register WPML plugin easily and simple. As I have shown in other videos how to proceed with the translations, you can check the other videos that appear on my channel. So if you have some questions, some comments, don't hesitate to write down. Thanks for watching.